the coaching carousel is in full swing and it is officially transfer portal season. We're going to talk about how that affects the Crimson Tide on this episode of Tide Talk Live. What's up, everybody? Stacey Blackwood here from Tide Talk Live. I'm excited to talk about the coaching carousel and the transfer portal and how it affects the Crimson Tide here on Tide Talk Live. But as always, you know the drill. We want to hear from you guys. Jump in the comment section and let us know who you think else could be transferring from the University of Alabama and also your thoughts on the hiring of Hugh Freeze as Auburn's next football coach. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. All right, look, let's just touch on the Hugh Freeze situation real quick before we do anything else. Look, I th we've talked about it on the show a bunch. I think Hugh Freeze is a heck of a coach. I'm not sure why all these fans were talking about uh, his, his past because, you know, they hired Bruce Pearl. They had no problem doing that. So it's not really surprising for me. But, look, the guy can coach football. That's what he was hired to do. His past is his past. Look, I'm not going to judge anybody. Would I have made the hire? I'm not sure. It's, it's a little sketchy, if, if I'm being honest. But, you know, look, he's hired to coach football team, and he, he's a heck of a football coach. We saw what he done at Ole Miss uh, when he was there from 2012 to 2016. Uh, he done a really good job beat Nick Saban Alabama twice, uh, once in Bryant-Denny Stadium, and then the very next season in Oxford. So uh, the dude knows how to coach football. He's a great offensive mind. Uh, he can recruit really well. So uh, I think he's going to do a good job at Auburn. But it also depends on what that alumni and what that – boosters will let him do down there on the plane so that's going to be really interesting to follow but like i said i would love to hear what all you guys think there in the comment section let us know your thoughts on hugh freeze to auburn all right look the transfer portal is also lighting up damian george the former four-star offensive lineman from the state of texas uh, who played in 17 career games for the crimson tide officially entered the portal yesterday and will have two more seasons of eligibility to play uh look he He's a really good player, never could find a role in this Alabama offense at either guard or tackle, and he's going to take his talent somewhere else and probably going to be able to play uh, you know, somewhere down the road uh, with another program. So we wish him nothing but the best. Of course, Trey Sanders entered the portal last week. Uh, we really wish Trey Sanders a lot of luck because he, he gave his off with the Crimson Tide after suffering an injury freshman season, then going through a car wreck that you know nearly took his life. Uh, just the fact that he can still play football is a miracle and a testament to the, the hard work and dedication that he has. And so we're really appreciative of, the, of what he gave the University of Alabama. We wish, we wish him nothing but the best. And these guys are not it. Look, there's going to be several, several members of the Crimson Tide, I believe, enter the transfer portal, and I believe you're going to see some coaching staff changes as well there in Tuscaloosa. So things are really just getting started in Tuscaloosa as far as exits. So it's going to be interesting to follow over the next few weeks what happens in Tuscaloosa as far as the coaching changes and the transfer portal. Uh, you know, it's going to be heating up there uh, for Alabama. And, and, of course, early signing day is just a couple weeks away. So that is something else to be looking out for. Uh, for Alabama, look, the season's not over. Look, there's still a, there's still a chance to make the playoff, uh, and they're obviously going to be in a New Year's Six game at worst. So there's still a lot of football to be played, but there's a lot of outside stuff and off-the-field things to be tackling over the next few months uh, as we await the start of next season when spring ball gets here uh, in a, just a few months, really. But uh, that's really going to wrap this episode up. I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on the Hugh Freeze hire at Auburn. And then just a the brief synopsis of what's happened so far in the transfer portal that affects Alabama. Also, side note, uh, former Alabama quarterback Paul Tyson transferred to Arizona State before the season last year is also once again in the portal. So that would be something interesting for Tide fans <clears throat> to follow as well. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, we want to hear from you about all that's going on off the field that involves the Crimson Tide, the Hugh Freeze hired Auburn and the transfer portal. So just light the comment section up. We would love to hear from you guys there. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give this video a huge thumbs up. And until next time, roll tight.